three types of content that get the most engagement on social media. I am Liz Medley. For those of you that do not know me, I teach uh, weekly tips on how to build a freaking amazing business, a cool life, and to be able to show up online with confidence. If you are watching Facebook, say what's up. Tell me where you are watching this from. If you are watching this on YouTube or LizMedley.com, leave a comment below. Also, for Facebook viewers, if you are uh, watching uh, this on Facebook, say the words Liz List for the written version of this. If you're on YouTube, click the link below for the written version of this episode. So I'm super stoked to share content that gets the most engagement. I love helping people work smarter and not harder. So that is what we are talking about today. What is going on, Jamie, Christy, Fry, Robin is in the house. What is going on? Make sure that you share this to um, your friends who are trying to get more interaction and more engagement on their social media posts. It is something very important that they need to hear. If you want to share it to your Facebook uh, groups or to a chat message, that would be incredible. Hello, Becky Hughes. What is up, girlfriend? All right, so let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to share three um, types of content that do get the most engagement. Most of my training is written for people who are building a personal brand, influencers, affiliate marketer, marketers, and network marketers. Um, it's written with them in mind. Um, most of my training is geared towards them even though it can be used for any business owners or any humans who are on social media. Um, I owned a traditional business, brick and mortar business, for 11 and a half years before I sold it and went full time online. And so I have experience in both um, online and uh, brick and mortar businesses. So let's go ahead and carry on. So the first thing is the first type of content that gets the most engagement is content written by me for you. Something that you write for your audience. Um, you need to write for who you are speaking to. The words that you use in your post should pull the readers in. And you can only accomplish this by directly addressing their pain points, talking about their challenges, um, asking questions through your post, right? Ask yourself, what problems does my ideal audience have that I can solve? What are they struggling with and how can I solve it, right? Think of the person that you want to see your post and what do you want them to know and what do you want them to feel? Speak to them. When you are going, if you're doing a live or you're doing a written post or a blog or an email, speak to directly to that person. Speak to them, okay? Um, and then also write as yourself. Don't be afraid to add a splash of your personality to your content. Be real. Uh, in fact, this is a very, very important way to distinguish yourself from others is to show your personality. So you don't want to be super formal if you're not super formal, right? You need to say the words that you would use because that's going to attract ideal people to you, right? Use um, the slang that you, you and your audience would use. Use words that you love. Um, because it's going to help you stand out above the noise that's on social media, okay? So write as yourself, write for your audience, write as yourself, and become a content creator. Become a content creator. I can't say that enough. And I know I talk about it in a lot of my, um, a lot of my trainings, and it's because I coach a lot of women uh, in online business in that space, and Y'all aren't creating enough of your own content. You're sharing stuff. You're posting things and hoping and praying that someone buys from you or hoping and praying that someone joins your network marketing business. And it's just lazy marketing. Craft content. Create content. Tell a story. Teach something. Inspire people. Make people laugh. You know, take the picture and write the words. Stop sharing other people's stuff. Become a content creator. You know, create content. Stop, 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 stop sharing other people's content that they created. 
you become the content creator, okay? Um, if you feel like hitting share on something that speaks to you, I want you to stop. I want you, if you go to share something on social media because it speaks to you, inspires you, it means something to you, I want you to stop. And I want you to think of me saying, don't share that. Stop. Don't share that. Use that as inspiration to create your own post. Ask yourself, how can I use this content or this topic or this joke or this inspiring quote or whatever it is, how can I create the content around this? How can I create content around this? Before I share this, how can I make this my own and me take a picture and me tell a story or me take a picture and me use this joke? Got it? Drop some fire emojis below if you are picking up what I am throwing down because this is the first type of content that gets the most engagement. The first type of content that gets the most engagement, your own content. Put it in the comments. Drop some fire emojis. Say, my own content. Content is queen. All right, folks? Content is queen. So let's go on to uh, number two. The second type of content that gets the most engagement is content that makes people smile. And everyone needs more laughter and happiness in their lives. You know, laughter is medicine, right? So bring that to your audience. And when you bring a smile to your audience or a giggle to your audience, they're going to be able to connect with you. And then you can deliver your message. Um, maybe you share some ways that you've screwed up or take a picture of your morning bedhead. Um, be real. Be funny. Share stories. Um, if you see a funny graphic or like a funny joke on a graphic, how can you tell that joke and include yourself in it? How can you tell that joke with your own picture? Right? Um, so this is the second type of content that gets the most engaged is making people smile and truthfully pulling at any emotion. Even like if you're making someone teary eyed or you are making like pulling an emotion out of someone, um, gets a lot of engagement. Okay. All right. You guys liking this? I'm trying to keep it short and sweet this morning. You know how I roll. It's what we're doing. Laughter is medication and connection. Christy says, Liz List, Becky Hughes is getting the written version of this. If you want the written version of this, um, make sure that you just say Liz List below. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description. Okay. So, or if you're at LizMidley.com, you can see it there. Let's go on to number three. And this is teaching something. How many of you have heard add value, add value to your audience? Like, right? Show me hands. Show me um, hands. Like, yeah, I've heard people say add value, but what the hell does that mean? And I actually have a whole training on it. Imagine that at lizmedley.com and you can learn all about how to add value. Um, or if you are a part of the Pretty Social Influencer Academy, uh, where you go and dive in deep into adding value, but it's teaching something, right? So share something about yourself um, by telling a childhood memory, right? Teach people about you. Share something about yourself, a uh, childhood memory or a funny story or about your first job because you want people to, to know you and when they know you, they're going to like you. When they like you, they're going to trust you. And when they know, like, and trust you, what do I say? They're going to throw a credit card at you and say, take all my money. All right. Um, teach something that you like to do. Maybe it's a hobby. Um, my friend Lauren put out a knitting video. So I bought a thing of yarn and knitting needles and that's as far as I got. But I have her video saved and I know that I want to do it. So teach something. Um, I've done a video on my personal profile. I reviewed the uh, hard seltzers that are out. You know, I taught a little bit about them, why they're so popular, why it's a huge market, and what I thought about the flavors. Like, I taught something, something that I love. So um, no matter what your hobby is, it can fit in some way. Um, and then just, you know, my biggest thing is invest a little bit of time to learn something that interests you. So invest some time learn about it, and then teach it. Invest, learn, teach. ILT. Um, how many of you have heard of ILT? Drop ILT below if that is you so I know who I am talking about or talking to, not about. Um, 
All right. So let's keep going. Thank you for sharing this to all you lovely peeps that have done so. Um, but let's 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 do a really quick recap because there's a theme here, right? There is a theme. There's a common denominator in all of these. So you're going to write uh, content, right? You're going to create your own content. You're going to write for your audience, talking to that one person. You're going to add, dude, bombastic, yo mama. You're going to use your words. You're going to write as yourself. And you're going to become a content creator. You're going to stop sharing other people's posts, other pages posts, and you're going to start actually crafting and creating your own content. You're going to take your own dang picture and you're going to use your own dang words, right? Can I get an amen? Amen in the comments. Let me see it. All right. The second thing was making people laugh, making people smile. How can you take that funny joke meme and take your own picture and tell that same joke, right? What can you do to put a smile on somebody's face? Maybe you share a screw up. Maybe you take a picture of your morning bedhead, whatever, right? Maybe you wore two different shoes to work. Take a picture and share it, okay? Um, and then the third thing is teaching something. Invest a little bit of time, learning, and then teach it, I-L-T. So what is the common denominator? What is the common thing in these three types of content that get the most engagement? Does anyone see a theme? Anyone see the theme here? Yeah. Create your own content. Tell stories. Make people laugh and smile with your stories and your jokes and your own pictures that you're taking. Invest a little time, learn and teach your own content, right? Yeah. Content creation that you have personally created is the number one way to increase your engagement, increase your reach. And when you up your engagement and you up your reach, your message is going to be heard and seen by more people. And if you're building a business and a brand online, you need reach and you need engagement. Right? All right, guys. Create your own content. Create your own content. I love you all. I believe in you. My wish is for you to believe in yourself. I will see you next Tuesday, 1030 a.m. Eastern time right here. Talk to you later.